Hi, it's Christina Di Macaulay of Clean Your Plate, here to share a family dinner called Chinatown Chicken Simmer. We're going to start things off with a 20 ounce can of Dole pineapple chunks. I've actually drained off the fruit, but I'm saving all that juice. I take a quarter cup of my pineapple juice with one tablespoon of cornstarch. When I mix it together, this is something that we call a slurry, and it'll actually help thicken up that sauce in the end. Now, I have a super large skillet over medium high heat. I'm gonna drop in a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and I have six chicken thighs that I have trimmed into thin strips. You wanna brown it for about five minutes. So the Dole pineapple products, they come in a variety of different forms. I actually used a little tin of crushed pineapple in my Greek yogurt this morning. You can put it on cottage cheese with a little bit of almond for crunch, really great stuff. It's convenient, I can keep it in the pantry, I pop the top, and it's already pre-cut, pre-chunked, any way I need it. Next add two cloves of garlic, one medium red bell pepper diced, one medium onion diced, and one tablespoon of fresh ginger minced. I'm gonna saute this for at least three minutes to really, really infuse all this fragrance and flavor into the dish. Okay, so now we're gonna add in some snow peas for even more color and crunch. I'm gonna add in that reserved pineapple juice because we wanna keep all that flavor in there. We're gonna do half a cup of chicken broth and two tablespoons of Kikoman soy sauce, one tablespoon of Kikoman hoisin sauce, a little bit of cinnamon, and just a little bit of honey for a little bit of sweetness in the end. So we'll give this a good mix, and this needs to cook for at least three more minutes. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with the Kikoman hoisin sauce, it's really great. It's actually like a sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. And it's not just for Asian food. As a matter of fact, the same with the Kikoman soy sauce. It has a lot of versatility. Um, a lot of the time, I'll use it in things like a salad dressing or in a different kind of barbecue sauce in itself because it adds a nice savory punch to all your different dishes. Okay, so this dish looks pretty good already, but I didn't forget about those beautiful pineapple chunks. I'm gonna add this in right away. And look how much color it adds already and so much volume. So in goes the slurry. This sauce is really, really thickened up. It's nice and glossy. There you have it, the finished dish. It's super easy, fast, delicious. It's versatile enough to make any time of year and your whole family is gonna love it.